Because we are on Terran stand. Uh, wait a minute, this is the wrong Terranus? It's so confusing, man. There's so many Terranus versions. So the newest that we're gonna have, which is also on ladder on Northrend right now, is Merc Camp here and Easy Goldmine Camp here. Ah, yeah, but on Nettie's it's not changed yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Nettie's it's still Merc Camp over here and the pretty damn hard creep camp over here with the poison dudes the assassins we've seen a lot of mk first fast expansion here actually despite this being not the easiest camp to creep at all sometimes i was heavily punished with things such as immolation demon hunter but other times it was just ignored as the knight was creeping up on his side of the map what is the hero here for Sini? usually not the most flashy not the most Surprising player. Holy crap, but this time it is a warden. I did not think so. I thought it was just gonna be standard demon. All right, that's pretty cool. And here we have the MK. Yeah, this is, of course, very, very unusual for a human against Night Elf. Aside from here, we see it on Terranus stand all the time. You go for the Merc camp creep, you get the Shadow Priest pretty easy to creep this entire thing, basically. Get this camp after. And then if you want to take a pit stop, you can take this camp and then go for this camp. And Clap is very effective against this creep camp because it hits all five of these units at the same time. And it's very nice against the assassin dudes because it reduces their attack speed. And with that, reduces the number of your units that they poison. And of course, it's level three for the MK, most importantly. Plus, big items! Possibly two big mana items, which is the dream for the MK and, in fact, also for the Warden. So two very mana-reliant heroes here. Both heroes desperately need level 3. You're starting to see a pattern here. This has always been the thing about Terranos, and still is the thing about it today. Very easy level 3. And here we go. Mercam first for both. No mana potion here. Did he deny something? I don't think he did. Trying to see with the footy here. Not even using the Shadow Strike. Could have done that, I guess, but I yeah, didn't. And what do we have? Greater Inval. Also very nice against the MK. Not quite the greater mana, though. Which is what they are looking for. Second Ancient of War for creeping. Not even the Tree of Life. Forces are under attack. This is probably going to be a counter expansion here at some point. Gonna have to see. Is Neon Holidays now, after that crazy Sunday? He was casting yesterday, but today he's got a day off. Well deserved. Oh, the mana, uh, the double mantle here for the Warden. For that mana, that is a very nice help. Six bonus intelligence adds up attack. to 90 mana. Right? Yeah. And you can see it. Clap is affecting everything. You gonna use the second one? No. The one was good enough. Takes out the assassin bros. And after that, the enforcer, who is pretty hard to take down. And you can see, everything is hurt. I feel like Night Elves haven't figured out the timings here perfectly yet. Oh my god, what a drop. That is so good. <laughs> the healing wards right here. The perfect find. I like the footy scouting, by the way. Continuously gathering intel. But one footman already died. If this one dies as well, he is going to be starting to feed this warden. Who is taking out this camp? Oh, MK's coming in. Alright, but it's level 3 warden now. Can he? Oh my god, he's so tanky. Almost a thousand HP already. He steals the last hit, but that doesn't keep the warden from level 3. Um, he can easily kill this footman here, certainly. He's going for the MK instead. I don't think he's going to be able to get him. 100 bits from the crest fallen. Hail Satan, my little lambs. How are you? How are you this fine day? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good, man. Thank you. He's just chasing this MK. He's got three more Shadow Strikes. Like, why doesn't he do it? If he already invested so much mana. I guess it's okay. He's gonna get footies instead. Footies and... Oh, this might be a cancel. I think this is a cancel. Very important point of attack right here, but it's gonna come at a cost. 
Stormballs the warden, tries to control her. Alright, it's gonna be two mercs down already. And remember, the footies are already lost. So he's gonna get the cancel here, yes. But it's pretty expensive. He needs to get this cancel. Alright, he does. I'm not even sure that this was the best exchange for the human, though, to be honest with you. He lost almost everything. He's gonna lose that one as well. Denies him, at least, which is nice. Warden, though, still kind of close to level 4. His expo is up way sooner, yes, but he's down at 25 supply now. Like, what can he do right now? A town is under siege. Not too much. Keep on producing. Oh, Wisp in the main. That's always dangerous. Teleportation staff. We've seen this before. And he's got it. And he's staffing it. Oh, it's so close! Oh, what a hero peasant. And not the greatest Wisp usage, honestly, to show him so early before the Warden had the mana. A few mistakes here and there. But this is still a scary force by the Night of. Merc's coming in, the Archer as well, a Warden with full mana. MK has one Stormbolt only. That's not a fair fight. Oh, does he sniff it out? He... Oh, hasn't seen it yet. But now he has. Has to be a TP, yeah. Can he save the Shadow Priest? It's gonna be important for the healing. He absolutely cannot. And again, the heal board's coming in. Oh my god. <laughs> so fortunate that he found those. A town is under siege. Didn't see the second skill point yet from the Warden. Might still be fan of knives. Oh, there's an entrance to the main. And no tower. Oh, that is not good at all. That is absolutely horrible. MK, though, is finally gonna find himself some kills of his own. Uh, oh my god, is he actually not even gonna get this one? He's gonna have one more Stormbolt here in a moment, but then he's gonna be dry. Warden, almost surrounded. Has to be careful. Is apparently speedy enough. And during all this, the expo did come up. Tech starting just now. Nice deny again. Pretty good. With all these denies, actually, Sock did keep him from level 4. But more right clicks, more kills. Deny again. Oh, this time the peasant does fall to the warden. Oh, can he hope for a kill here? He has a storm bullet ready, but not too much follow up damage. So I kind of doubt he's gonna be able to do this. TP is home. Realizes the staff wasn't going to be able to get him out of there. And goes for the panda as well to have an answer later on. Two tanks, possibly, but to pretty much everything. Also, he's got a lot of map control right here with Dryads, which will be coming out. Should be able to fast level this panda pretty easily. He's got the two agents of war. At least one of them is going to be used for creeping a little bit. The other one is protecting the expo. Could be used more aggressively as well, I feel, up here. Up here. But okay. Here we have a Shredder and a Zeppelin. Is this gonna be tier 3 super late game here? It might. Here we go. Zeppelin loaded up. Gonna be harassing the expo over here. We don't have a hippo, I don't think. An Ancient of Wind. Nope. Moonju is also completely dry. It's a bit of an issue. Oh, but here's the warden in the main. There is one RK already, though. That's pretty nice. And he's gonna get this kill. That's a level 4. Now Blink has just gotten very cheap. I think we just saw it here a second before. The Blink ability. He's dropping the tree. Oh my god, can he kill his tree? That would be so sick, but no, he can't. Warden staff's back. That at least keeps his own economy safe. Not to be underestimated. And here comes the Ancient of Wind. Wants to have the hippo here. To deal with this pesky Zeppelin harass. So, tier 2 or tier 3? That's the question here for Sock. We can go for a tier 2 push with an AM second and the mass casters. Don't know if that has a very good chance of working though. My own, unfortunately, dies to creeps. Slight mistake. MK is almost level 5, that's kind of nice. 
But what about a second hero? And here we go. Tier 3 rush. That doesn't surprise me. There was just no way that he was going to be able to go for a successful tier 2 push. Whereas in the main here for Sini. Bear's coming out. We already have a couple of dryads. Does, did he go for the hippo? I guess not. The warden's just chilling out over here. And the MK is going to get to level 5 here, right? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Loses the next mud golem. <laughs> to the creeps. Oh, the pen of energy. That's very good. Hmm. So now, MK harass, I guess. Oh, quite a bit of piercing damage here. This is kind of scary with a breath of fire as well. Easy kills though, of course. One, two, and like that, you have three kills. Bam! And you can go for the Berserker now as well. It's gonna only... Oh, nice. That was some nice, easy kills right there. Has a staff to get away if he needs it, but it seems like the boots are good enough. I feel like the Warden could be doing more, right? Go for anti-magic, harass the main. She's just standing around, not really doing anything. And here's the Blood Mage second. Will be crept up to level 2 immediately, that's also pretty nice. Where's the Panda? Only now finds his level 3, that was not the fastest, right? And ideally you want him to be getting to level 5 pretty quickly, actually. So, do we have workshops coming down? We certainly do. And a Griffin Aviary as well. That's level 2 Blood Mage. MK, man. Five and a half almost already. Now Sini coming in with his decently strong heroes, but not the biggest army. Wanted to perhaps get rid of the production here, but that wasn't quite achieved. Getting mass mana burn now as well. Alright. And that's an easy kill on the bear. Did he bring a staff? He didn't. Yeah. Sini, I'm not so sure about this attack, to be honest with you. Banish on the warden. Kind of nice to prevent the right clicks. How many bears did he lose? He's got another Stormbolt here. He's getting drained. And uh, she has a blink still. Oh, not using it. So it's gonna be a TP again. That was a very strange attack indeed. And he thought he was gonna be able to pressure this more with a shop even? Okay. And here we have the tanks. <clears throat> Upgrades, I think they already got one or two. Thank you very much, CKMD, subbing for the first time. Welcome. And here are the tanks. The tanks reveal themselves. One attack upgrade already. And it's going to be many, many more upgrades coming in. The idea here for Sock is distract with the tanks, force them out of back, creep up your other heroes, Paladin later as well as the Blood Mage already. And ideally, Get another base over here, as we can already see the ivory towers. Does he have masonry upgrades as well? Oh, only one actually. Panna getting bolted, getting siphoned. Doesn't want to go for the paladin yet though, wants to play the greedy game. And wants to stay in low upkeep, in no upkeep, actually. Oh yeah, tanks. Hard to deal with, as we all know, of course, unless you're orc. Under siege. And here are the towers. And once there's, let's say, seven, eight towers here, it's gonna be very difficult for the Nile to deal with this. Big army, though, at least. Lots of bears already. Upgrades starting to come in as well. Should have gotten a shredder, right? Didn't go for a shredder, though, which is very unusual in this macro long game. Creeping with the MK here, of course, soaks up a lot of experience, it's not going the Blood Mage's way, but without the MK you have, like, so little damage here. I think you have to use him. Oh, item on the ground! The Warden could pick it up, perhaps! Nah. 
Blood Mage's gonna get it. Level 3 already, wow. And kill it, killing, the, brrr, killing these towers is important. You don't want to give the human a third base. Normally you want to have like, I don't know, but one to two bears see. in each base, Ancients of War. And then with the rest of your force you creep and keep this base from coming up. Okay, by himself, trying to defend this as best as he can. Warden's coming in. Here's the Paladin, by the way, so now we do have the human upkeep. Of course, this force will easily be getting devoured by all these bears. Sok needs to consolidate his forces. And now we have more masonry upgrades as well, by the way. Power is not done yet. He wants to keep on pressuring this. Lots of men on this MK, though. This is lots and lots of Stormbolt damage. Paladin in trouble. Needs to be micro to the back. Needs to be given an invul. He has an invul. Slow feeling coming in right there. MK saving his mana for the Stormwall as it seems. Uh, wow! For the bash. For the bolt, I mean, and banish. What are these games today? GG. Don't think that was over. All right. Uh, that's the lead for Sock. <clears throat> His third map in a row, actually. Earlier he won with 2-0 against Soin. Soin against Lucifer. That's going to be our final game of today. Very strange game. Very strange. So next is going to be the map choice for the Night Elf. Terra Stand, usually a pretty good Night Elf map. Mm. So where does he really want to go next? AI, of course, would be the dream, but that must be vetoed. Taking his time here a little bit. We have Vanity Prime gifting us up to IP in Moonwells. Thank you very much. Uh, is there a Back to Warcraft clan? No. By the way, we thought that tomorrow was going to be the WGL September race going to be starting, um, but it's been delayed a week. So actually tomorrow we don't have a cast and neither for Friday. So um, four casts this week only, which uh, is unusually low. Um, we're going to be back on Saturday and Sunday. Going to get deeper into that later. Oh shit, I missed the invite. Turn down the sound so you guys wouldn't uh, have to deal with that loud noise. Oh, there we go. Why is the door behind you always open? Oh, I don't know. Why do I want to close it? <clears throat> Yeah, on uh, what day is it again? Oh, on Friday we're gonna have a cast as well. I thought it was on Saturday, but no. So we're gonna have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday's cast is gonna be pretty late because we have a European tournament going on on ESL, and therefore once Happy is gonna be playing again, um, as it looks right now. 
I'm gonna be casting that as well. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, but for now we stay with the Asian competition. The second map here, elected by the Knight of is Echo Isles. The Warden didn't look bad, but she didn't take over the game the way she oftentimes does. Played by Foggy and Law Lyot. I feel like yeah. Cini could have been a lot more active with her. But it's very hard to use the Warden to the best of her abilities. The Demon is the simpler choice, easier to execute. You can't really make too many mistakes with him. I guess, I mean, you can, but... Not as painful, perhaps, as it would be with the Warden. So, what hero is it gonna be? And looking in sock space, could this be the weird Tinker opening or Naga opening into whatever as a follow-up? The answer to that is no, as we have a normally timed altar here right away. It's gonna be the AM. Very, very, very likely. But over here. I think it's gonna be a demon. Um, the warden last game got to level 3 quickly and went on to not defend her first expansion attempt. Uh, but I think it was okay. Just the way he played the warden after. Not quite to her fullest potential again, I think. So I'm going demon here, I can understand. More reliable. Especially in the meta of today. If you go warden nowadays on Echo Isles, many humans will just tinker, tower rush you right away. And that's so hard to hold with a level 1 warden. But actually, it is the Archmage. question is how fast this expansion is going to be. Um, Sock earlier against Soin play an instant expansion here. You can do that against Night Elf as well. But then you're going to be stuck on level 2 for a very, very long time. But when you do it, you can a try to kill their counter expansion pretty quickly. And he's going to steal the Shadow Priest right here. Oh, is he though? Who's faster? Nice. It was Sini. That's important. You want to pull the creeps with the archer. And then send in the Wisp before the Peasant, so you get the Shadow Priest. This is a big deal. Very big deal. He's not starting the cap yet, though. Whereas over here, Sok is creeping the little green camp first. He's not gonna go instantly for that expansion. He wants to get more experience up earlier. He wants to be able to rely on the level 3 AM later on. And now the camp starts. That should be... Pretty damn easily executable by this demon. He has a Shadow Priest. That makes things a lot easier for him. The question is, when's he gonna counter expand? Because Sok, it's very, very likely that he will expand. He's skipping this green camp. Interesting. So it's Ogre into next Ogre at the expansion. A player's forces are under attack. Fully here keeps on scouting. In a bit of danger now. Oh, nice awareness by Sok here. Moving him away. Perfectly timed. And finally level 2 for the Demon Hunter. Pendant of Energy. Very nice for the sec second hero. For the Demon, not so much. And the AM. With the Circlet and the Ring. Eh, okay. Claws would have been better. But especially the Circlet, not too bad. And here we go. Militia. Duration over, Expo coming up, and the Wisp sees it right away. So, do we have a tech? We do not, but lots of resources for him, oh my god. Are under attack. Can go for the next Shadow Priest and the next Berserker here, as the Shadow Priest is almost ready again. In the middle of the two meet, oh, and Boots and the Demon, this is very annoying for the AM. Usually you're really supposed to be there first. Because now he just has to run. Run, run, run. Demon even going for the staff, so the AM can't use that one either. Very annoying now for Sok. Even the Merc's now coming in. He's blocking the way pretty nicely, though, with the footies here. But now there's Merc damage to worry about as well. It's probably going to have to be a TP sooner rather than later. Needs to get a shop up as well. Not going for one yet, though. He's not really going to deny himself, is he?
Just trying to buy time here, most likely. And here's the counter expansion. And if this AM had the boots, he could cancel this right now. But he can't, because only one shop, only one pair of boots. And the AM wasn't fast enough, so here is now finally the shop. So the Wisp... Oh, he's got the Wisp in position, though. Check this out. He's gonna TP. A player's forces are he has to TP. Attack. And now he can staff over here. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, and the AM's gonna die. That was a sick play by Simi. Oh, damn. But there are still a couple of footies. Um, making more AM buyback? Did he buy him back? No. Doesn't really have the lumber for it. Slam game is looking good for Sini. Expo's coming up without any problem. He killed the AM. A player's forces are Almost level attack. 3 demon already. I wonder if he couldn't have pressured this more. Merc's coming in. Cancel the tower. Then the peasants are in trouble. I feel like I could have done a little bit more there. There were footies, yes. But not too many. Here's the tech now, though. AM will be coming back, but now this the demon is so, so strong. What are these footies doing here? Mm -mm. I guess he's trying to do something, because... Better than doing nothing at all, I guess. But as it is, the footman didn't really accomplish too much. Tier 2, close to done here. Playing it kind of foggy style. Late tier 2 tech, but very early counter expo with a lot of Mercamp support. And so far looking very good. Turning out very well. Blacksmith coming up now for the human as well. He does does have a lumber mill. Okay. And the AM is finally back. May still have to go for the boots, actually. Uh, one guard tower is coming, but that one may not finish. Actually, the building positioning of the blacksmith here is really good. Otherwise, it could be easily getting cancelled. Has to go for Naga now. I guess... Uh, tier 2 is not done. Yeah, of course. Can't go for a second hero. So at the shop he gets the boots. It's, it's almost time for the scroll of healing. It's almost daytime again. Alright, and here we go. Two very fortunate end snares. May give him the berserker here. Uh, probably will. Uh, it's close. Oh, end snare wears off, but he does get it. That's valuable experience. He needs his level 3. He's still not there. Finally gets back to the shop, is going to be able to heal. Some of the footies here will benefit from this as well. 22 supply only, wow. Exposed to not mining. Honestly, Sini doesn't have too much. He's got this super strong demon, but kind of nothing else. Double lore, triple lore, what? Triple lore? And a panda second. Okay. Alchemist. No Naga. Interesting. Tier 2 is done though. And here we have rifles coming in as well as double sanctum. Players forces are under attack. Quite a bit of money on the human side still. Suddenly Sini's bank completely disappeared. I don't know where it went. Alchemist. Taking quite a bit of damage. He's going for the surround and he gets it, I think. He uh, keeps it close with the Alchemist, but he's gonna die for this. Oh, the footies close the surround again. That was pretty cool. That's a TP forced. And the Alchemist survives. It's kind of nice. But he needs to creep. He needs to find some experience. AM needs a. Wow! Oh, that alchemist just ran into the creeps. At least he's gonna be back soon though. A Level 1 hero only and all that. Attack.
Going for a workshop as well. It's going to delay his timing by a lot. He's still at only 50 supply. And Sini can go into mass bears here very soon. He does have a triple lore after all. Solo experience for the AM. I don't mind that at all, actually. Level 4 is pretty Players important. But when you have no MK and no Naga, there's just no control at all for this demon. He can do whatever he wants. Hopefully he doesn't walk into a surround because then he does actually die. He's trying for it. Oh! There's a slow from the sorceress. But he's not trying to follow up with the surround. S scary play here by Sini, man. He's risking a lot. He could have died right there, honestly. Militia running in from the main surround. Boom, he's dead. But he's trusting his abilities and his luck, I guess. Suck. Producing more and more. Still with a big bank. Can't spend all of his money and... Yeah, Sini already has... Yeah, he's following up into upkeep. Alright, now the staff is ready again. Now the demon is safe. And we'll use the staff right here. I am going to the middle for the Scrolls of Healing is very important. He's got one already. There should be another one in. Oh, actually, it's not ready yet. Invisibility potion here. And uh, this will be his level 3 soon. With a little Murlocs down here, he's gonna get it level 2 and a half for the Alchemist. Scroll is ready again, and he snags it right away. So, is this tier 2 army gonna be able to beat the tier 3 bears? That's the question. Is he gonna go for the ivories and stuff? We've seen this a lot in the past. Ivory is being popped down here. Human army camping in the south. I am still in this. Not giving the aura. That's a bit of a problem here. He should reveal himself. And here we have the ivories. One, two, three ivories. Oh, I like the engine of war a lot. That's pretty cool. He's gonna see this coming. But of course, Sini doesn't want to fight here. This is a nightmare position for a night elf. 77 human supply, 68 for the Night Elf. Oh, if he can cancel these towers here, that's really good for him. Demon, where do you buy? Another scroll of healing. He has only one, actually. And remember, no TP anymore. Oh, but he's flanking him. This is not looking like a big human army, actually. Where's all the rest? Militia coming from the main as well. Trying to buy more time to buffer for these towers. Drunken Ace Breath of Fire coming in. Big combo. He has the Strolls of Healing here to deal with this, but not using it. Stroll of Protection first. Hits everything, actually. Demon dropping really low. Stroll of Healing coming in right there. That was the first one. He has another. Has to give it to the other hero, though, I think. Invoke popped on the demon side. Gonna be over, though, very soon. Is over right now, in fact. But the bears are clobbering and moving forward. Mortar teams against the Dryads are not just getting all of it just yet. Immolation is running. That's not supposed to happen. Usually it's supposed to get stolen. But he doesn't have the mana right now as it seems. But the towers do finish. Two guards adding a lot of damage into this. And again, GG. These games seem to be ending quickly today, don't they?